This video is looking primarily at uh, bard songs that have a proc effect. So that would be um, Arcane Symphony, Omorden Suffering, and Stormblade. A look at kind of how much damage they do and what affects their damage. I've chosen to focus on um, just one fight what I call an example fight. And I give the, the Bard Song lineup for this fight, which is the Four Chants, War March, Aria, Pulse, Insult. In this case, uh, Yelenax Insult, Arcane Symphony, Omorden Song of Suffering, and Composite Psalm. I also have the single target AE Mez um, loaded, but they're not in play or used during this battle. The two specific songs that I'm looking at is Arcane Symphony and Omorden Suffering. Stormblade is going to be impacted in the same way as these songs are by various factors. Um, the first, Arcane Symphony, has two procs. One is triggered by a melee attack and has four charges. No, pardon me. One is triggered by a direct damage spell attack, and that has four charges. The second is triggered by melee strikes. If you're just doing melee strikes, the, sp the song will always remain up the full 30 seconds, and it will proc for those melee strikes. If you're also, for instance, as a Shadow Knight, doing direct damage spell attacks, it'll probably stay up 16 to 20 seconds, I'm um, estimating when you get four various uh, taps or uh, spears, etc. off. Um, but the melee strikes does not use um, charges. Uh, the Arcane Symphony effect is a magic-based resist and has a minus 50 to it. The Arcane Symphony um, Strike is Chromatic Resist as minus 100. Omorden Suffering is magic-based, has no resist modifier, and the three strikes are, simp are only melee. So you'll use that up very quickly. So now we're going to look at how do these songs impact our mercenary rogues and pets? And the answer is the DPS is shockingly low. Arcane Symphony, we're talking 141 DPS to, um, to, a, to at a high to a low of 54 DPS. And for Omorden Suffering, it's a low of 520 to a high of 898. So the total DPS you get for these proc-based songs for mercs and pets, which are doing melee strikes, and you would think would be naturals for this, are very low because there's no boosters, there's no AAs here to help them do more damage. What you ask yourself, if you're relying on kind of rogues and pets and mercenaries, then you might want to think that an insult, which will do 135,000 points of damage to one strike for each of these, would be better use of your time. But let's move from mercs and pets to the players now. When we look at the DPS we get from our bard, our SK, and our shaman, it's much more helpful. Um, in terms of Arcane Symphony, the Bard, we're looking at, you know, around 3,600 DPS. And for Omardens, it's 1,300 DPS. And so you see that whereas when it comes to the non-enhanced Mercenary Rogue and the Pets, Omardens kind of has the edge because it has a higher base damage that even though it's not enhanced, it's doing more DPS. Whereas Arcane Symphony starts to shine here because we're going to have proc modifiers go into effect. And keep into effect, one thing that all of these players have is the twin proc AA, uh, level nine, which is a general AA. The, the rogues, mercenaries, they pets, they don't have that additional twin proc chance. So we look and we see suffering. Um, DPS is from a low of around 1,300 to a high of a little over 3,000. 
and arcane is a low of oh around 1900 to a high of around 3600 now arcane has two procs when we come to the shadow knight and the shaman because they are both doing melee and they are doing um, direct damage spells. It's very important if you're going to be using these kind of proc based songs as a bard that you encourage, highly encourage, everyone assuming you're not using a box crew and it starts, but everyone who is, you know, manually playing go out there and swing their weapon at the mob because they will get damage from the procs. If you're going to do this, you might as well do it in a way that everybody is out there hitting and getting a chance to proc these damage. Um, but as we can see, the damage is obviously higher for the, uh, the bard, the shadow knight, and the shaman, as opposed to the mercenary rogues and the pets. Now let's turn to the factors that explain why it is higher. So on this chart, I list some but not all of the factors that impact these spells. The first two epics, Leech Sting and Spirit of Azagrin, those help the mercenary rogues as well as the players and the pets. They are, I should say, the, the classic pets. You know, Shish Kebab, the shaman pet, the, uh, the SK pet. They would not help, I do not believe, the swarm pets. The only thing that's going to help the Swarm Pets is the Bard Aura, which will uh, increase the damage for those guys. And the Swarm Pets are not getting any of these procs at all. So you don't get these procs in the first place. But then the, uh, if you look at the Bard and the Shadow Knight, they each have Destructive Fury and Fury of Magic. That's going to increase the amount of damage that these procs do and explain why these players are doing so much more damage. Uh, the pets don't have Destructive Fury, Fury of Magic. The rogues, mercenary rogues, don't have Destructive Fury, Fury of Magic. And that's the same with the shaman, though the shaman actually has more Destructive Fury, more Fury of Magic. For melee classes, I didn't have any in this thing, but if you're, you're talking about a warrior or a straight pure rogue, um, or a berserker, you're going to want to look at empowered ingenuity and ingenuity. And then there's one other factor that I spot it that makes a difference, and you can see when you look at the logs, is the bard has a boon of potential belt, and that adds 500 damage to each proc. The shadow knight has the threaded belt, and that is not triggered by these direct damage procs. And of course, all the classes, with the exception, I believe, of the int-based spellcasting classes, but I'd have to check that, have twin proc. But this, this explains, if you've got a group of players, you're going to get um, much more effect from your Arcane Symphony, your Stormblade, your modern suffering than if you're doing a lot of pets and uh, mercenaries. And if nobody's swinging, then the effect is going to be even more minimized. If you've got a mage who's just casting, you'll get some effect from Arcane Symphony, but nothing at all from modern suffering, and you won't get the full effect from Arcane Symphony. Same with the Shaman. If you're going to use these spells, you want to encourage people to start smacking the mob. It doesn't matter how effective they are, you're just trying to get these procs. Kind of one reason why I do this deep dive is to understand how effective your spells are going to be. If you've got everybody swinging their, their weapons and you're relying not on mercenaries and pets so much as actual players, then it starts to become worthwhile to cast these spells. If you're going to be relying on pets and mercenaries, or if you've got people who are just casting spells, then I suggest you really look at doing more insults in your spell line, because that's going to do 135,000 flat damage, 
And so that's about 5,000 DPS for the six seconds. And you just can recast these um, insults. Keep in mind, these spells, especially with um, Omar and Suffering, they're not going to be up to full 30 seconds. You're only going to get the three charges. You're only going to get the four charges, probably, from anybody who is actually hitting the mob. So what you're looking at is... Arcane Symphony, Omardan Suffering, Stormblade, or do I go with more insults? I will talk to you later. I hope this has been somewhat informative into what's going on when you use these spells as a bard.